Lorenzo was telling me how he got there when rocks started falling on the ground, blocking the entrance. We had to get out quickly before the mines collapsed. So we pushed on through the tunnels to find a way out. We couldn't stop in time to avoid crashing through the wooden barrier. We found ourselves hanging from a cliff over the sea. Stefano was more than surprised. Mamma mia, he said. What's going on here? We were so lucky. Stefano used his crane to rescue us. You should have seen the look on his face when he saw Lorenzo. The last engine wasn't lost anymore. You did a great job. It's the Commedia dell'arte. You are right on time! I was so proud! At last, I had made a great discovery! The greatest of all! <laughs> Lorenzo was an amazing engine! He had the most beautiful singing voice! Lorenzo and I raced all the way back! He even taught me how to sing Italian opera. <laughs> Let's race! Three, two, one, go! We can do this! than the speed of light. Marvelous! Let's go! You are very fast in Congratulations! You are not Lorenzo. visited many countries and seen lots of amazing places. When I first arrived in Italy, I felt as if I had to know everything about its rich history. I pretended to be an expert in archaeology, but I soon learned that I didn't know everything. I even got myself into a dangerous situation. It's okay not to know everything when you're somewhere new. The best way to learn is simply to ask questions. Let's... The piano was... Italy!
did a great job. Here's Merlin! Italy! Did you know that you can replay all of these activities? It's a great way to explore and play with your whole collection! Italy! Italy! adventures and most of all I love to make amazing discoveries I was lucky enough to travel around the world and I learned a lot however visiting and exploring doesn't necessarily make you an expert as I realized when I met Gina in Italy Thomas and Gina were working on the Italian railway. She was really passionate about Italy's rich culture. She found it rather amusing that Thomas didn't know such landmarks as the Colosseum and the Leaning Tower of Pisa. I was upset by the teasing. It made me feel as if I knew nothing. I know a lot about the world. I visited the Taj Mahal and the Great Wall of China. I had to show Gina that I was an expert myself. Fantastic! Now let's see how fun this track is to ride. Tap on the bouncing train button and hold on tight. Well done! Did a great job. You win a golden controller. Thomas was trying to prove himself, so he went on a mission to the beach alone. That's when I met Stefano. He was so impressive, so big. Stefano is an amphibious vehicle. He can float on water and ride on the ground. I had never met such an interesting vehicle. He would talk and talk. I mean, he knew so much about everything. I was curious to know more. As I was about to leave, Stefano told me the story of the lost engine, who was also a curious engine like me. The lost engine was always on the lookout for adventure, but one day he simply vanished and nobody ever saw him again. Wow, the lost engine. I would love to meet him.
Let's race! Three, two, one, go! Splendid! A colorful cottage. Thomas was so caught up in his story 